Hey, 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 it's your girl Jess Bree coming at you with another video. This video is um, going to be addressing um, Liv's life and the birthday party and all the shenanigans that's going on right now and some of the comments from Lipstick Alley. Um, but first, I wanted to add my two cents um, in regards to um, Gerard and his woman. I forget, what is her name? Tanisha? And Tanisha? Yeah, you are a very beautiful, beautiful young lady. Um, so I'm going to read my comment that I put in um, somebody's comment section. As I said, she looks like the perfect mama, but will, does she not have any kids? Being that Gerard has a vasectomy? Um, because if she doesn't, that's going to be a problem. I would think. But anyway, um, so yeah, so she looks like the perfect mama, but... I will warn the girlfriend to be prepared for Liv to turn those kids against her, which is going to require Gerard to really man up and put his foot down. The fact that Liv is calling her oldest her BFF is just a prequel to the destruction Liv is about to cause. Sorry to the tough times ahead. So, um, basically, you know, it, um... If things continue to go the way that they go and being that Liv is vindictive and um, jealous and envious, um, she's going to turn those kids against that young lady. Um, the boy, the boys don't necessarily care as much, but I know Liv is going to put those little girls in a position where um, you know, she's already, by her calling them her, her best friend, calling Ryan her best friend, she's going to treat those kids, those girls in particular, as if they are much older than what they are. She's already exposing them to a lot of things that they probably should, they, obviously they shouldn't be exposed to. And the attitude that Liv has a, one of defiance, of um, nonchalant, don't care, don't give a fuck attitude is going to be passed down to the girls, which is why you, Sir Gerard, the time that you are going to be allowed to spend with them, you're going to have to continue to reinforce good morals and good behavior because, Sir those girls if you don't have you know um a good amount of time with them throughout the year if not half and half it's gonna be a ugly it's gonna be an ugly picture those girls are gonna grow up to be just as trifling as their mom unfortunately um and disrespectful so be prepared for the mouth because if you're not disciplining them and 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 you don't keep them in check and make sure that they um know how to be respectable at least when they're around you they could whatever they do around their mama you can't really control but when they come around your household and they have to they better respect your your girlfriend slash eventually if she's gonna be your fiance or your wife um, or else there will be repercussions and consequences. Because Liv is going to destroy their innocence. And she is not going to encourage or um, yeah, encourage an atmosphere of love and respect. For, especially for your girlfriend. So you're going to need to... You know, any kind of side iron, smacking lips, you're going to have to check that shit right away. Um, because it's going to be neck rolling and lip smacking. You know, by the time Liv get done with her. 
and Anastasia, uh, not Anastasia, what's her name? Antonisha, just keep your calm. Keep your calm. You know, let him handle the girls. Um, but you can't continue to carry yourself in a way that you demand respect from them. Okay? Because they can't help who their mother is. And the parts of them that belong to her are going to be out of control. So, you just keep on, you know, showing them love. You know, hopefully, uh, maybe one day y'all start attending church or something. Um, because they're going to need it. Um, just in my opinion, because I'm a Christian. I'm coming from a Christian perspective. But, um... Because, you know, her, um, you already know. I mean, you know how she is. You know, she got this nigga up here, um, taking, you know, in a picture with the kids, saying Happy Father's Day as if he spent a dime or a quarter on the kids. And he probably ain't even bought them a damn ice cream cone. But yet and still, she giving it up to him, you know. As if he's some father of the year. Um, so let me just... Okay, so enough of that. I want to read a couple of the comments that had me laughing. Because I'm still... Um, I still try to keep my, my content as joyous or as um, comedic as possible. So... Um, even though we have to get a little serious sometimes. So anyway, uh, someone says, I pity the McDonald's drive through worker that Big Liv will verbally abuse after she sees this. And this is, um, referencing the picture of, um, Antonisha and, um, baby girl. It's so cute. And she's hugged all up on her. She's so sweet. Um... Says Ryan definitely enjoyed her day. I'm sure they have more things planned for all the kids. <laughs> Live for the beast of wear throwing hot sauce at a Popeyes employee behind. <laughs> Yo, that shit was so funny. I could help, but I had to read that. This person said, I know Liv sick AF. She getting all 21 flavors of Baskin tonight. <laughs> and somebody said, It must feel strange for Ryan not to be shooed away. I love his girlfriend for this. Those kids deserve some love. <laughs> Somebody put in the free willy, um, a free willy meme. <laughs> it says the resemblance is strong. Half black, half white, big teeth, always hangry, big mouth, and sneaky ass. <laughs> oh God. Um. It takes a strong woman to put the beef aside with their mom and treat them babies well. You can see she's genuine because Gerard caught her off guard. So apparently, when Liv, you know, Liv, shoot, she, she ignores the children half the time because, you know, it's way more important to be on live than to pay attention to your children. Um... Somebody else said, oh, okay. I want to read this here. It was good to see those kids look so happy at the birthday party. Ryan, formerly known as Crying. Was she a crybaby? I can't, I can't deal with crybabies. Um, has really grown in her looks and she is not whining and crying like I was used to seeing. I really think his new girlfriend has played a big part in this. I've never seen Gerard nor Liv playing something like this. All we saw was her sitting in a high chair and eating cupcakes for her previous birthdays. I really hope they do something special for Kristen and Robin because I feel I feel like they get left out. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know about, I mean, I'm sure most parents, with the exception of Liv, you know, I've done birthdays. I did a, I did one sleepover because God knows that was a hell of a lot of cleaning up. I, mm -mm, child. 
one sleep I did a sleepover. I've done the Chuck E. Cheese. I've done um did we did I take them to a movie? Chuck E. Cheese. I did a GameStop for my son. I've done Chuck E. Cheese bounce house for him. Um, what else? We've all gone out to dinner for somebody's birthday. Um, and went to the uh the place where they do the fire. They cook in front of you. Um, oh, the trampoline place. You know, full blown out birthday parties, bitch. Like seriously, who sits at home with cupcakes and and you know, no family, no friends? What the fuck? Is that what y'all saying she did? No family, no friends, just the kids and them. Anyway, um, so this video not gonna be too long. I'm just gonna read a couple more comments. Uh, uh, oh, a lot of people sending um, Lorian money. Is that what's going on here? Nisha fixed that money real, real quick. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. They're sending their little um, cash apps. That's so cute. She is adorable. Adorable. Um, <laughs> somebody said, could have been you, Liv, but you lying, miserable, pe bleh, miserable piece of crap. Now Gerard is enjoying his babies with a new woman, and they look damn good. So does she, the kids not regularly look presentable? Because I, I haven't been watching her consistently. But this is the cutest little shirt. You wouldn't have never thought to do that she would have, um, there ain't no way Liv probably would have did something, nothing like this if, uh, the way I'm hearing y'all talk. Because, you know, I haven't been consistently. Oh, look at the baby girl hair. Girl, get into it. Her hair is dead, honey. It's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Cute, cute, cute. And she look like they mama. She don't even... She just blend right on in. Just beautiful. You know, Gerard, you really messed up. I don't know what you saw and live, but whatever it was, it just shows your lack of self-esteem. Men have low self-esteem, you know? So, or they just, and who was your mama? Because I'm, I, I, I'm um, inclined to, to blame your mama. Yes, um, uh, uh, Nisi, who's the mama? Because I would have peaked live long time ago. Okay. Between me and my mother, uh, we would have peeped her ass a long time ago. And um, baby girl, I would have grabbed her ass in the corner and said, bitch. I know you can't control who somebody fall in love with, but honey, she from the gutter. And I'm just saying, that's that's gutter. Real talk. Now I know people turn and they change and you you know people people surprise you. But she was I mean, she didn't have a high school diploma. The fuck? But I don't know them. So you know what? I'ma back up. I'm backing on up. You know, I don't know the lifestyle people live and, and what their expectations are. Cause you couldn't come home to you couldn't come home to me with a, a woman talking about she ain't graduated from no damn high school. Not my son. No, ma'am. And yes, I am. I'm saying it and I'm judging. Okay. Now, my daughter, she dealing with somebody who, um, you know, he got more kids and a few more kids than I, I care for him to have. But, you know. I said what I had to say, and, um, you know, she listened respectfully, um, and being that he is still able to contribute financially to my daughter needs, 
and he helping her out. She just started a shop, and he been buying equipment and paying for this and paying for that. Oh, because I'm just saying, what my daughter get out of it? Hmm. Well, you got four kids. Because if you can't afford her and your four kids, then I'm just saying. Um, and it might sound a little off to some of y'all, but hey, that's it is what it is. I'm not, I, I just feel like my man is a provider. And, you know, you got to show you, he's showing you, he show you something. But he spoils my daughter, so anyway. Um... On that note, I'm about to hang this line up, y'all. It was nice talking to y'all. I'll call y'all later. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm oh, and just PS. I'm just so happy for Gerard. I'm so happy. I'm so happy.